Hi everyone, Shane Armand Monroe here. Today, the Simpsons bowling arcade game running under Emudex slash Emulation Station. This one's a real beast, so enjoy. You're gonna need the two ROM files, the base ROM file and the CHD file, right? I've got some sizes there so you can compare. I can't tell you where to get them. You're gonna be on your own there. Let's extract the CHD file first. And uh, that's gonna give us a simple.chd. Let's go ahead and clean up after ourselves. Now you need to rename this. And I'm gonna put it on the screen, nice big letters. This is what you must rename this chd to. A29UAA02.chd. And remember, case sensitivity is a thing in Linux, so make sure that it all lines up. Great. Now we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it simply simpbowl, all lowercase. Great, and we're gonna move that CHD file right inside that folder, move it up. All right, great, so now we've got the two things we need to copy to our ROM slash arcade folder. And I have another video on arcade games set up here on uh, Steam Deck and Emu Deck. So we're gonna go ahead and move that folder and that zip file, that ROM file, right over to ROM slash arcade. Okay, we're done with the file management piece of this thing. Now we gotta to get to the real fun. So we're gonna go ahead and run Emulation Station. And if all goes well, you'll have an arcade category if you didn't already have one before. And inside of there will be the Simpsons bowling game. We're gonna go down to edit the game's metadata and we're gonna make sure that it's set for use main current. Main current is what you wanna be using for this. Pretty straightforward, make sure you save, otherwise that won't uh, commit. And then we'll apply, great. Okay, let's give it a whirl. All right, so like so many of these arcade games, um, we do have a long power on self-test, diagnostics checks, EEPROM tests, ROM checks, all that good stuff. And we're gonna leave this up here so that you can see what you're going to see when you try it. Now, where we end up having our problem is right here when it's doing this EEPROM test. These last four are gonna show up as bad. We need a keyboard this time. Plug a keyboard into your Steam Deck. Hold down F2 and tap F3 while holding down F2 the whole time. So hold down F2, tap F3, continue holding F2 until we see the magic words checking EEPROM. And it's gonna have to go through this whole self power up self check. There we go, checking EEPROM, good. Now we can let it go. Tuck the keyboard away until you need it for the next crazy tutorial we have to do. And now we are uh, finishing this up. Now this is 800% sped up. The actual elapsed time for this writing operation is one minute, 44 seconds. Um, but I didn't want you to have to sit through the whole thing. Now that it's all set up, it works. Well, at least so far. Um, but will it continue to work? Oh, there we go. The game is actually running. That's great. But will it happen a second time or a third time? Every subsequent time, do we have to do that whole EEPROM nonsense again? Well, let's find out. Okay, here we go. Power on self-test. And here we go. The countdown to success or failure. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, we're good to go, yes! And the game actually runs. Now, it's not a perfect arcade emulation. There's some glitches with this ROM, but it is playable. Listen, if you like what you saw here, uh, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, this was another video uh, suggested by you, my valuable subscribers. I love you guys, thanks so much. And uh, I'm Shane R. Monroe. Until next time, take care, everybody.